in. A lot of things have changed since I first started making videos for due process, so let's go through everything that I've said so far and shown so far in my videos that is no longer correct or accurate. There aren't actually too many of these individual cases, but let's start by going through episode one. When I first did this video, I put a little Easter egg of the shopping cart technical in this video. If you aren't aware, this was a utility item or a weapon that you could pick up and deploy in your map in the pre-refactor version of the alpha, which you're seeing on screen right now. This hasn't been in the game for a long, long time now, but when I made the video, I expected, yeah, it might be around the corner, it might be down the road a little bit, but we still haven't seen it in game, but keep your eyes out. It is on the roadmap. Uh, I expect we'll see it eventually. It's pretty cool. Uh, next up is just a little typo. I wrote DP12 when I first made this video, not DL12. The attacker shotgun is the DL12. Next up are throwing animations, or lack thereof. There used to not be throwing animations, so you used to be able to get a Molotov out really quickly and reactively to a breach or to a doorway, but you can't do that anymore. You'll see now that you actually need to fully pull the Molotov out and then toss it. And the same thing goes for flashbangs on attack. Um, but for defenders who need to react with a Molotov to breaches, this seems like a little bit of a nerf. So there's a lot of discussion about how Molotovs need to get buffed or reworked to, uh, to better accommodate this change. But you'll notice from these older videos that we use Molotovs a little bit more aggressively and more confidently. Can't quite do that anymore. Next up is a simple one. I say that you need to rack your weapon. You no longer need to rack it manually. Racking is an automatic procedure now in the game, but that doesn't mean that this isn't important. You still need to make sure that your guns are racked. This game has a two-state reload, so keep your eye on that. Uh, this next clip is about flashbangs and being immune to them. I still tell new players that they are immune to flashbangs on attack because it's a good thing to tell people, but in reality, uh, right now, you are not fully immune to them. You can still get a little bit concussed. You can get a little bit flashed by them, but it's so minuscule that you shouldn't play with that in mind. I don't talk about or use jump shots a whole lot, but these two clips are pretty good examples of why jump shots don't exist in the game anymore. There's not really a place for them in a game like this. They were a little bit too overpowered. This next clip is the old LS45. It used to have a laser in Brace Fire. I think it should come back. I really like the aesthetic of having the laser on this gun, and I think it could be balanced. Here you can see the old Saber Scope, which used to be green. It still has night vision, but it's in full color. In this next bit I call Factory Warehouse. While it is kind of a warehouse, the official name is Factory, and that's more prominent in the game itself now. The next clip is all about wall bangs, and while wall bangs are still definitely a huge part of the game, this clip explains that you can use the sound of a wall bang hit to try and track players behind the wall. Actually, that is removed from the game. You can't do that anymore. But in this specific clip, we're looking at wall bangs on the tarp. That still does, in fact, work. There are some surfaces that don't count as walls, Tarps are one of them. This next one is of the Killhouse Vault. Simply put, the vault art was changed quite a bit, and some of the gameplay changed a little bit, but the same core game mode, if you will, is still in the game. On the next one, we're looking at drawing barbed wire locations on the map and using the drawing tools to communicate. These are a lot different now because you now have the puck system and you've got a tray of utility that you can click and drag or use the hotkeys to place on the map. So I would highly recommend that people utilize that tray and not draw their stuff on the map. It's a lot more accurate. It's simpler, it's faster. And if you are a new player, start getting used to using those because they are the main way that you will coordinate and avoid bringing too much utility or too little in a round. This is a big one. You no longer need to destroy the center coil of the barbed wire in order to remove it. You can hit any part of the barbed wire now, so all this talk about safe placement is completely changed now. Uh, roof smokes are gone. They're not in the game anymore. They haven't been for a long time, but exterior smokes still work. So while you can't put a smoke on the rooftop, it isn't the right shape anymore to go through it. Uh, you can still do exterior smokes. You can still throw them at the corners uh, on the exterior near like a bar or a green door or something, and it will cover a good chunk of the enemy's sight line. So it's still pretty useful. So this section of the video talks about there being three tile sets, but the key difference obviously is that there are now four tile sets, with the fourth being Kill Dome USA. And while my videos don't talk about Kill Dome USA, that is the fourth tile set, so shoot me a comment if you'd like a video covering Kill Dome. The next one's simple, it's just a small error in this weapon penetration chart. Please don't reference this. Uh, there is an updated chart in the description. It's in a spreadsheet that a few other players and I work on. Uh, the only difference here in this one is that the Black Tar and the Ingmar are actually in the medium penetration category. 
However, I promise you that when this video came out, it was accurate. It was just only accurate for about a week. This one is about Clubhouse, which was a permutation of the Kill House tile set, and it never made it past some initial testing. Although a lot of us thought it was pretty cool and could use some tweaking and maybe end up in the game, it didn't. So you can ignore all these comments about Clubhouse, but if you want to read more about it, I'll link the blog uh, post in the description that talked about Clubhouse. Black-topped walls have been a topic mired in confusion and inconsistencies for a long time, but I finally have the answers that I want. So a black-topped wall is supposed to be an exterior wall. That's it. That means you can't wall charge it, and you can't wall bang it. However, there are still a lot of walls in the game that are on the interior and have a black top. Ignore these. You can wall charge any of these walls. It has no relation to its ability to be wall banged or wall charged. Just a quickie, I neglected to mention that you can actually wall charge the shed. When this video came out, there weren't really any sheds that were worth wall charging, maybe a couple. Um, now it's actually quite common to find a wall chargeable shed that gives you instant access to tellers or the power or something useful, so keep your eyes out for those. It used to be the case that when you put a door charge on the shutters on factory, you'd actually get a hole that the player could pass through. That is no longer the case. It's now consistent across all shutters, whether they're on garage on Kill House or they're on the convenience store shutters. A door charge on a shutter makes a small hole that you can shoot through and nothing more. Moving on to my tips and tricks video, two of these tips are no longer relevant and they are actually tied together. Of course, there are the tips regarding how shotguns work because shotguns were totally reworked. The way that shotguns work now is that you have to be about two squares from the lock that you're shooting off for the lock to be destroyed. Uh, additionally, there is no singular super accurate pellet in the middle. So with both of those changed, there is no way to open up doors at a distance. Although there are still some maps where you can get a sneaky early uh, red door open, or you can find a cool angle to open something uh, with a charge, but those are pretty rare now. 